Okay, so hi. This is a really quick, yep, really quick update because it's already five. Um, really quick update on the uh, 50 books challenge thing I'm doing. Um, it was kind of on hiatus for a while while I was moving, um, but now I have finally moved and I started reading again. And I think kind of coming back with a little vengeance here. <laughs> I think I've read like four or five books in like a week, two weeks. <laughs> so I'm kind of coming back and I have a few more and I'm reading four right now. I'm almost done with one so I'll be back down to three in not too much longer. But yeah, so I have four going right now. Um, the ones that I have read, sorry my nose is all like itchy and just being laah. Um, so the ones that I have read, um, I read Caged by Amber Lynn not, no, I can't say the last name, but whatever, caged. Um, yeah, that was really bad. <laughs> when your main character is a 28-year-old a female, and, like, her family has just been murdered, and she was in the room when they were murdered, and she, like, faints because one of the guys who murdered her parents came too close to her, so she just blacks out. Okay, fine, you were freaked out, got it. And then, of course, she wakes up in this, the middle of this field, and there's this guy who's gorgeous and looks like an angel, and, oh, let me just go on for, like, six pages about how gorgeous he is, and how he saved her and helped untie her, and blah, blah, blah. And then, flash forward eight months, after, you know, her parents are brutally murdered, and she's got to be fucked up in the head, and uh, she hasn't seen this miraculous stranger in forever, and, uh, you yeah, know, she's got this little apartment and this little like bead shop or jewelry making shop down there and you know whatever she just hangs out yeah she's super fine after her parents were just murdered brutally pretty much in front of her eyes except for it was dark um yeah and uh <laughs> she decides to go to a nightclub and some guy's feeling up on her and she can't handle the stress so she just faints again and of course this beautiful magnificent guy just comes up and saves her Oh my god, I cannot express how much I hated this book. This woman is 28 years old, and even then, a 14 year old would not have acted like that. I hated that book. So, I read Caged. Didn't like it much. Um, I also finished um, The Daughter of Smoke and Bone, which I love. Um, there's another one coming out in November called uh, Days of Blood and Starlight, which is the, the second one, and I cannot wait for it. I'm so excited for that book. Um, it took me a while to read it, just because it does go in depth and it does describe a lot, but I loved that. The, the, the writing was just so vivid and so good, and I really loved it. And also, it had a badass chick! <laughs> you know, she didn't fall in love with the mysterious stranger. She tried to kill him on numerous occasions. Occasions, yes, occasions. So I loved her. I think she was awesome, and I think the guy was pretty cool. And yeah, I I liked it actually. The story was really good, um, and a lot of the reviews were men mentioned the flashback and stuff it does. I don't think it did. I don't think it was that bad to the story. I think it went along really well, and it did go back and forth a few times. So you did come out of the flashback, and um, I mean, I'm a lot more curious for the second book because there's a lot of things that still aren't really explained, but um, I think it's going to be really, really good. So I cannot wait to read that one. Um, let's see, I also read... Um, I read Chosen by Sarah Swan. That one? Oh, crap. Um, definitely not one of my favorites. And I read it pretty quickly just because I wanted to get it done. And I, I'll probably read the second one just to see if it's any better. I don't know. <laughs> I can't really decide on that one. It's it's I, I'm not going to recommend it. But, um, you know, if you're really extremely bored, you could probably read it in a day and just kind of get it done. Um... That one, I'm, I'm not sure. It's another one of those where, you know, there's two men involved and all this kind of stuff, but, you know, the bad guy is revealed way too early, and you know the entire time that he's the bad guy, so, you know, they make it all mysterious and don't say the name and blah, 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 but you know who the bad guy is. 
so like all the mystery is gone from there. So I don't really like that. Um, and then the guy that she really starts to like called her a bitch at a party, and she's like, "Oh my god, but he's so beautiful." So another one of those where I'm like, I just want the woman to get her head screwed back on. Um, I'm probably gonna read the second one just shits and giggles, see if it gets any better. Better. Um, I read or I finished the Secret Life of Bees. Um, I liked that one. I probably won't read it again, but I actually thought it was really good, and I suggested it to my mom. Um, it was interesting. It kept me pretty entertained. I liked the writing. It's a pretty good pace, so I like that one. Um, I'm also reading um, Through the Killing Glass, which is Alice in Deadland, the, the book two for Alice in Deadland. I'm liking this one. It has a few new twists and turns and things, and it's not quite so action, 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 action as the other one was, so I can actually read it before bed and still fall asleep. Um, but I think it's really good. It's Now it's more into, you know, turning Wonderland into, you know, a, a working society, but not forgetting their past and things like that. And Alice is still very much in charge, but you know, she has to remember that she wasn't alive before the rising and all this kind of stuff, so that one's really interesting. I am liking that one. So, Through the Killing Glass. Um, I'm also still reading uh, Breakfast with Buddha, which I'm still liking. Um, that one I tend to read more like when it's sunny, I'll go outside and read, and so I don't read that one as often, because the Kindle's kind of hard to read in the sunlight, um, but I'm still reading it. You have to do that right now, Cap? Yes, you do. Um, is that all? Oh, okay, and then for the ones that, yeah, I'm currently reading is, um, Through the, Through the Killing Glass, Breakfast with Buddha. I just started, um, Ender's Game, and by Orson Scott Card. Almost every guy that I know has read this book, and so finally I'm just like, I'm gonna read it, because it sounded interesting and it finally piqued my interest. Um... And I am like 20-30% through it now. And actually I'm really liking it. There's a few little like one-liners that I'm like, hmm, interesting take, mister. Um, but it, it, there are some really funny parts and so far I'm really liking Ender. He's um, interesting. <laughs> um, and kind of the, the society that they're living. I don't know a whole lot about it yet, so I'm still kind of working through that. Um, but it, it's it's actually really good, I, I, and I like the writing. The writing is really well done. So, I think I'm going to like that one. My phone's buzzing, I don't know why. Um, yes, oh, and then, I was kind of having like a, you know, one of those crap weeks where just life is like, I wonder how positive you can stay <laughs> through all the things I'm going to throw at you. So, thankfully, I've stayed decently positive. Um, today, I did have to... Uh, go and get myself a coffee, and I went to Barnes & Noble, which I wasn't going to allow myself to do, seeing as some of the things life is throwing at me is money stuff, but I just needed to do it. And I did really well. I found one, one cheaper book and one that I've wanted to read for a while, and it was just so pretty that I had to pick it up. So the first one I got um, is J.A. Jantz, The Trail of Trust. Um, I really like her books. This is another of the um, J.P. Beaumont series, which I like a lot, so I'll start reading that one eventually. Um, and the one that I've wanted to read for a long time, and the cover art was gorgeous on the Kindle, but then I saw it in person, and I pretty much just grabbed it off the shelf and said mine, um, is Starters by Lissa Price. Check out this cover. How cool is that? Right? Like, just the chick is awesome anyway, but then it's it's shiny. Um, so I'm really excited to see this one. Um, it the premise kind of sounds a lot like a um, like a, a dollhouse kind of world. I don't know, uh, Joss Whedon's dollhouse. Um, but I just can't get over the cover. I think that cover is amazing. So I'm really excited to read that. It even has um, like little circuits and things like that up there. I don't know if you can see it. but So I am super excited to read this one just because I want to look at the cover all day. Um, is that all I have? Maybe. Do, 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 do. I don't know what I have. I don't know what I have. Hmm. 
<laughs> I don't remember what all I read last time I made a video. So I'm trying to remember. Sorry, I'm going through my good reads right now, so. Um, which, by the way, the link is below if you want to add me on there and we can read some stuff. Um, <laughs> what I did read, I read um, Caged, and I read Chosen, and I finished Daughter of Smoke and Bone, Secret Life of Bees. And the ones that I am currently reading are Ender's Game, Through the Killing Glass, um, and Breakfast with Buddha. And um, I've read a couple pages into Starters, so I'm considering that my my fourth one. Um, I might have to stay with four, though, because now I'm going to have two in paperback form. And usually I keep two on the Kindle and one paperback, but I don't know. We'll see. I'll figure it out. Um, yeah, so that was my quick, not so quick update to um, my 50 books challenge. So I have a long way to go, um, but I'm not too far behind for it being not quite the halfway point. So I still have time to kind of catch up and get all that stuff done. So um, if you are doing the 50 books challenge, let me know what you're reading. If you have read any of the ones that I did, what did you think of them? Um, if you want me to read a book, um, suggest it, and I might eventually get to it. <laughs> I just kind of pick books at random. Um, yeah, so that was my update. So, bye.